Hi, I'm Captain John with DV Sport Fishing Charters. And I am Scott Guskar, Pro Staff with Cisco Fishing Systems. We're here to talk to you about the uh, versatility of the different cradle mounts uh, Cisco offers. Yeah, so first, um, we're gonna start from this side and kind of work our way that way. Um, we've got a reel up rod holder. Um, very good for trolling with. It's good for storing your rods in a vertical position right off your gunnel. Um, we can demonstrate that here. And the reason we call it the reel up is because it's always gonna keep the face of that reel up in the air so you can always see where your, your line counter and the depth at which your, uh, your lures are running. Um, you can loosen up the cam lever and just that quick, that rod can now be used for trolling. We also have the long cradle with the safety ring, chicken ring we like to call it. You can take your rod, drop it in there, close that safety ring. What's nice about these is you can actually troll those in a down rod position. So a lot of musky guys will put these on the back corner of their boats um, to troll that down rod in the prop, prop wash wake. We also have a long cradle um, without the chicken ring. We've got a short cradle with the chicken ring, but this particular rod holder here also has a cutout. We call that the Patriot. What's nice about the Patriot is we do recognize that there are spin fishermen out there that want to utilize rod holders on their boats. So we actually have a cutout in here to make room for that spin and reel handle. Now one of the common questions we get is, you know, why can't we have a ring on this one to secure it? Well, with the ring on there, it would actually close that gap when the ring is in the open position and you wouldn't be able to get your rod out of the holder. So with the spinning reels, the chicken ring is just not, it's, it's just not a good feasible option at this point. Uh, going down the line, we get into the short cradle with the chicken ring. This is one of my favorites. I do a lot of versatile fishing from boat to boat. Uh, a lot of the boats that we have in the charter industry are all set up with the track system as shown on the display right now. Uh, one of the coolest features is what is the drop and lock. So you can see how with two thumb screws, just pulled it right out of the track. So if you are set up with a track system without the cutout, we have the track that is the original Cisco's uh, and you don't have that to where you can slide the thumb screws in and out all the time. With this feature, the drop and lock, you just pop it in, give it a little turn, tighten the thumb screws down and you're fishing. Same situation going over without the chicken ring, and then again, going to your rail mount. For the guys that are running the Rangers or any of the 7 8 rails and have the actual Cisco rail mount on there, you can just do the two thumb screw mounts and you're back in business. Um, I am a big firm believer in the uh, short cradles, uh, as uh, again, jumping from boat to boat uh, and using a lot of different uh, rods and reels. Uh, this is just uh, fits my business a lot better uh, than a longer cradle, but has the same functionality um, as what your, the longer cradle has. And one of the common questions that I get is really what's the difference between a short cradle and a long cradle? Um, past the noticeable dis dis difference of the length of the rod of the cradle itself, you'll notice that it also dictates how much butt of the rod extends into the boat itself. So the longer cradle is gonna put the reel over the gunnel. The shorter cradle will actually place that rod butt a little deeper into the boat. Um, you know, for myself, I prefer the long cradles. Um, they're very easy to get out when you've hooked a big king. You don't have to overcome the torque of the tube. Um, it's very spouse friendly, kid friendly, you know, customer friendly on charter boats where, you know, those individuals, they're, they're just not fishing every day. They don't have that arm strength to be able to reach that rod past the tube and pull it back in. Cradles, you just lift them straight up and you've got that rod engaged with the fish. I totally agree with you on that, Scott. Um, so here, we've just provided an overview of the short cradles and long cradles. Um, we've demonstrated the functionality in the track However, these do work with our cross plates. You know, personally myself, I fish a blend of tubes and cradles um, for both long lines, short lines, down rods, uh, for dipsies and kings. Um, so feel free to check them out at Fish USA.